Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. And today we are going to take a look the deep compositing inside Nuke. So this is the intro to deep tutorial. In this one, I am going to show you what is the deep and what is the different tool set we have in a deep and how to uh, use deep in a very basic way. This video is totally from intro to deep compositing. So I'm going very basic. What is the deep and how to use deep for the next tutorial? We will take a look at some more advanced uh, techniques in deep. So uh, let's get started. What is the deep? Basically, let's take a look. I have uh, one scene here which I render in a deep. So as you can see, I have this deep file here. If I show you the deep path, as you can see. So as you can see, first of all, you will see all this is yellow. We have some information here. As you can see, I'm uh, hovering my mouse and as you can see the values are changing here. So if you expose down this one, then you will see the deep value as you can see. So I have this scene, this city scene here, which I render just for this tutorial purpose. So I have this deep file here and as you can see, if I sample this uh, close to camera as you can see the value in a red channel and the green channel is 69 and as I move as you can see the value is increasing and increasing and at the end as you can see it's infinite value because there is no geometry there so if I expose down a bit as you can see we have this last building here and till the value is 1487 and then after it goes to infinite so I rendered this deep file, this much range we have in a deep. So you may think uh, this thing is similar looking. Uh, if I show you the red channel, you will see it will look similar to uh, Z depth. So you might think uh, the, what is the difference uh, between the Z depth and the deep. So I have uh, uh, this example for the deep layer, how the deep layer is working and compared to the Z depth. So if I view this one, so this is the example of the difference between the Z depth and the deep. As you can see the Z depth is so this is the camera view. So this is the camera uh, we are viewing and the Z depth is only have a front portion of whatever the camera angle we have. So this is the camera and is viewing this one and we can only see the half side of the sphere. So imagine this is a sphere and we are looking from the uh, we are looking from the top top view so we are seeing only this much in a z pass and where the deep if you view from here you have entire sphere as you can see including the outside and the back side so this is the back side this is the front side which camera is uh, seeing this side and the camera is not seeing this side but in the deep we we also have information about the, this back side and where the z depth we don't have anything here it only cover where the camera is viewing so this is the camera angle and it's only viewing from this last pixel here we, in the deep we can see entire sphere so uh, this is the big difference in a z depth and a, uh, and a deep and another advantage of using a uh, deep uh, is the uh, edges so when we are using deep we don't have any issues merging 3d objects uh, all together i mean if i have this city scene here which is render in a deep and we have also rgb path and i have another deep file which have some uh, some character is going inside this building or behind this building i will not gonna get any edge issues here so that is the advantage i will show you in a bit uh, with the example we have here i will show you the this is deep here yeah so so this is a deep you will get like that and this is the uh, difference this is the big difference in a uh, z depth and a deep and uh, as i said another good example of using deep and i mean the advantage of using deep is the edges before we come into the test deep test let's take a look at some uh, deep node which we have inside nuke so these many nodes we only have inside nuke uh, as you can see we have a dedicated uh, toolbar here called deep and these many nodes we only have in a deep currently and i will tell you about every node in this category so let's see first of all we have this deep expression so it's similar like we have a normal expression node so this one also a deep a deep expression uh, we will see how to use this one it's very useful and uh, second thing we have a deep color correct so this is like we have a normal color correct node but in this one we have this masking tab which is pretty useful but in the industry we don't use uh, any color correction in a deep and i will tell you why we are not using a deep color correction we always use 2d nodes for the color corrections not the deep one 
and uh, we have another tool called uh, deep from image so this tool is basically uh, converting any your 2d note 2d file into a deep file so we will cover that one so this one is pretty good also and we have a deep merge like we have a normal merge note we have this deep merge node so it's a similar like merging uh, two deep file together and we, we have this uh, deep recolor so we will take a look here how to use uh, this deep recolor and we also have this deep to point similar like uh, we are doing uh, point cloud you know we have we doing point cloud and we if you have a cg position path then we also view in a point cloud so this is similar like we need to plug the deep and we plug the camera then we get the point cloud so for use case of this one is basically a utility node so we can find a position uh, in a 3d space where the objects in a deep so we can uh, if you want to add any 2d elements in a card so you can place it properly in a deep space and we also have this uh, deep transform just like the 2d transform we have a deep transform here so similar and deep sample so this one is basically like what we did here we can uh, basically do like we can sample deep so as you can see on the unite so this one also pretty useful it will tell you uh, the deep value it will tell you basically the deep front deep back and all the values here in this chart you you have this picker also so if i connect this to this and if i move here as you can see it basically telling me the deep value deep front deep back and the samples how many samples i have in this scene so it basically sampling this one this is also a utility node so i mean this is a info node so you can sample and get the deep front and deep back value that is the this one and this is the deep to image so what this will do so let's see if i have deep file and i want to convert this one to uh, 2d because it, because currently if i connect any node which is 2d it will not gonna connect to deep one it will only support the deep node if i get a grade node the grade node will also not gonna connect see so for that you need to convert this deep file into normal uh, 2d 2d file so for that we have this deep to image once you connect this one and now as you can see we have this color bar and then you can connect any grade or whatever uh, in this one it will connect and then you can uh, do your step further so we will cover here okay we will cover this one later let's see the nodes first so this is the deep row reformat just like the normal tree format we have this reformat and uh, we also have this uh, deep from frames so this is basically like if, uh, if you have a moving uh, noise or something so it will take multiple frames and it will convert all those frames into deep and it will stack in a layer in in a in a 3d space so we will see this one this one is pretty good node also and we have a this deep crop just like we have a normal crop node we have a deep crop but this one is pretty advanced so you can crop in a z space also or you can crop in this box also so we will take a look at this one node. the last is like a deep read and deep write node so in deep read if you go here and deep read it will open this one and you can import your deep files so this is a deep read and we have a deep write so you can uh, write your deep files from here these are the nodes we have inside nuke just for the deep so let's take a look at the test so this is the first test we have so as you can see in this one i have this uh, sphere and this sphere uh, is also a deep so and the second one i have this card as we said we have to merge these two together so as you can see i have different two renders from deep so i can just go to this menu and take a deep merge and i'm merging these two together and now as you can see i'm seeing these two together together inside and as you can see uh, this card is intersecting as you can see from the sphere and as you can see i'm connecting b5 for this card the a pi for the sphere if i switch this nothing going to happen uh, this is because so these two renders have a deep value which means we know the exact camera distance so how far they are from the camera so we have merged together if we see the deep and if i expose down so as you can see we know the how far this card is and this one is. so as you can see the sphere is eight and if i select the card card is nine so 
how far they are we know exactly because we have a deep value and based on the deep value they are merging together no matter how you merge together whether this one is b or this one is b doesn't matter and you can merge like you can merge multiple uh, deep in uh, in this in this deep merge node so this is basically merging uh, a deep files according to their depth values if i open this one as you can see we don't have you don't have much here it just a uh, combine and we have this holdout option which is basically doing stencil as you can see and if you switch this one now it will do reverse as you can see so you can do stencil and you have a proper alpha and then you can merge it and as you can see we have this uh, drop hidden sample also so what this basically is doing basic uh, so as i said if i just view this sphere as you can see we can see this back side here when you merging we don't see this okay so if i on this one drop a uh, hidden sample and as we said we have a deep crop let's take this deep crop and we will see so as i said in the above in the deep we, we have a back side and the front side we have entire sphere so we have a full sphere data i mean full uh, object data we have this is the advantage of deep so as you can see the deep crop i'm just cropping this one and let's view this one using deep to point so i'm taking deep to point i'm connecting this to deep and i have this camera which i'm going to connect here let's see the deep and as you can see so this is the deep we have currently as you can see i have this camera and we are viewing this deep through this uh, deep to point and as you can see this is the deep currently and this is the way we are cutting here and as i show you so as you can see we have this back side here right so the card is in front so i'm disabling this one as you can see card is in the front and we can see this is the sphere this is the back side of the sphere which we don't see when we are viewing from this angle and if i go here in the merge node and if i disable this one if i enable this one the drop hidden sample as you can see everything behind this card is cut is cut off so we don't see anything and if i view from here as you can see we can see this thing okay and if i enable my crop as you can see we can see it will look like this but actually what we need to do we just turn this off so we can see the back side and eventually in the output we can see the back side of the card also the back side of the sphere also see if i if on this one we don't see the back side and now we are seeing the back side of the sphere which is clearly showing in this uh, deep to point so i disable this one we can see the full sphere and so enable we see that we are crop it that much and if i on this one we lose all the data which is the back side and by default in the deep merge this is off this is on if you merging uh, element like this with the deep merge and if you don't want a back side so you can just turn this on this is the uh, another optimization inside deep so you can do this one you can do this if you don't need the back side back side information from deep so this is the way you can uh, actually do that and uh, this deep to point is very good to visualize your deep and what is and uh, what is happening in your deep so as you can see okay so this is very basic just merging two object together and we are good to go so i have another scene here and this is a uh, big scene i have this scene file here as you can see i render this one just i have this normal exr file here and i have a deep here which storing the deep data so uh, in the production we are also getting uh, same kind of uh, stuff we are getting a uh, exr file separate and we are getting a deep file separate we need to merge these two together but if you merge with the normal merge node this one will merge but this one will not gonna merge and if you take a deep merge node like this and if you try to merge deep it will merge deep but it will not gonna merge this uh, normal exr file so there is a node called uh, like we said like we uh, just saw the deep recolor so this deep recolor what will do a depth input and a color input color input will go our normal exr and the depth in depth input will go to your deep and you can see they both are connected and if you view them together 
Now as you can see we successfully merged deep with our normal EXR file and now if I view this deep recolor then we can see the deep here and if I down this one we can see we have full range of deep with this uh, normal EXR and as you can see uh, in this one we have this alpha and we have this sky also and when we do a, a deep recolor it will automatically do a pre -melt. so this is the another advantage i don't know if you want or if you don't want but it will do a pre -melt. so that's why when we are rendering deep we are rendering separate object like this so assuming this is my object and this is my background so i will separate this one in the background and then and then while compositing i will merge them together like this so in this one i i didn't render uh, this background so i don't want the background in this case just i just want to show you the deep process so this is the deep file i have and i also have a camera which i render this scene so this is the camera angle for that scene this scene so let me just add a dot and just to this angle uh, in this uh, deep exr i have the deep I have this uh, depth and the position pass but when i do a deep recolor i don't have uh, the this thing the passes and i only have a deep file so for that you have to open this one and we have some options here so the channels we need to set all so then it will merge all channels together now we have the position and the depth and the set b box so you can you can set whatever the b box you want and the this is the way you can merge a d file so let's see i have this d file here so i'm just deleting this one i'm just taking this one copy and pasting and let's see i'm want i want to merge uh, this one with this d file so i'm just deleting i'm just merge this one and i'm taking another merge node and just connecting this one and connecting this one and let's view and as you can see and this is the exact position where these objects is merging together so what i can do if i want to push this back in a z space so i can add a deep transform just like we said just like we saw you can add go to this menu and you can add deep transform here like this and you can push this back so as you can see the object will look exactly the same in the viewer but as you can see it's intersecting with this building and all that other stuff because we are pushing the deep value back so so when we are merging they know exactly where to merge as you can see so i'm pushing in this space like this so as you can see now it's it's uh, here and if i take if i take deep to point so i'm taking deep to point node and connecting this one and this time connecting this camera because this is the main scene and if i view this one so it will calculate and as you can see as you can see now this scene is like this and all these buildings we can see here this is a deep uh, deep deep to point view and as you can see we can see they are here like that as you can see so this is the deep we have here and they are like this so so in the deep transform what i can do i can increase and you, you can see in the 3d viewer so as you can see i'm pushing this back and as you can see this is going in the back and so this is the deep is working and you can see this card is here and if i view from the 2d view as you can see it's going in a z space according to the camera view so as you can see it's going back and back and back it can move slowly as you can see it's going slowly slowly so it's basically like we are merging uh, two objects in a 3d space uh, in a real time so as you can see this is the way you can uh, merge your object together so if i don't have this uh, transform so this is the position of this uh, object inside deep so if i view in a point cloud so if i zoom in a bit as you can see this object is very close to the camera with, with the deep transform we are pushing this object further according to the camera we are pushing this far, further and then it will intersect with the this deep with this uh, deep value so you can see in this uh, in the in this point cloud so with that in mind so if i disable this one and delete this one so we have this one what you can do you can also place a card and you can add a smoke layer in between and you can you know basically add a haze and anything like that and if you want you can add multiple objects here 
so we will take a look how to do that in the next video so this one is just to introduction to deep so the deep is allow you to merge object together seamlessly without uh, getting any edge issues or anything like that and you don't have to uh, you don't have to uh, do a proper ab it will automatically merge two objects together based on the deep value the deep information so and then you can use uh, many tools inside deep to you know uh, do a uh, deep recolor deep merge and transform like that and it will basically simplify your comp and it will give you a much better result especially in the edges uh, when you are doing uh, a defocus and blending objects together in this situation so we will take a look in the ne next video so this is just just an introduction to deep so if you have any questions please let me know in the comment and we will see you in a way next deep tutorial